Arcola was once the home to Johnny Gruel. You never heard of Johnny Gruel? Well, let me assure you, almost everybody has heard of his creation. My grandfather, Johnny Gruel, was born in Arcola in 1880, and he lived here for about three years before the family moved to Indianapolis. He came from a long line of artists. We can trace them back to R.B. Gruel, who was Johnny's father, that was one of the Hoosier Five Impressionist Artists of Indiana. John Gruel was also an artist. His most famous work, which was patented in 1915, has endeared itself to generations. Raggedy Ann and Andy. Today family members have returned to his birthplace, creating a museum that celebrates the artist and tells the story of the two famous redheads. This is the only museum dedicated to Johnny Gruel, Raggedy Ann, in the world. He started working for the Indianapolis Star when he was 19, and he started to do his first comic strip was something called Mr. Tweedeedle, and it was a little magical char character that would have all sorts of adventures. He would shrink and he would grow, and he did um, some political cartoons, and it was, it was quite a few years later that he started Raggedy Ann. The inspiration for Raggedy Ann was my Aunt Marcella, who became very ill when she was 13 years old, and she was bedridden for a number of months until she passed away. And while she was ill, he would make up stories to entertain her, and he would actually use her play characters, her dolls and her toys, in his stories to entertain her. And the first Raggedy Ann doll was, was made, we feel, right here in Arcola. And when the family traveled around, we think, this is the story, that Marcella found this old doll. And while she was ill, she, would, she played with the doll for quite a while. And when she was ill, my grandfather painted on the little red nose, and the family uh, made some new clothes for her. And so she became the focal point for his stories that he he told to Marcella and then after she passed away he realized this was something that would be uh, a good marketing future for the family plus it would keep Marcella alive and for, for many many years which it's done. <laughs> The first thing people see when they come in is, is the display area that's in the middle of the room. And we wanted to use Johnny's deep, deep wood theme that he used throughout his, his lifetime writing Raggedy Ann stories. Inside the display cases are pictures, books, and toys following the chronological development of Raggedy Ann and Andy. On display are some of the first books published about Ann's adventures by the E.E. E. Voland Company of Joliet in 1918. To go along with the books, they also made the first commercially produced Raggedy Ann dolls. Andy would join her two years later. Across from the cases is a recreation of the John Gruel Miami Beach Studio, which contains original artwork and several unpublished manuscripts. Uh, these murals were painted in the late 20s for a candy shop. It was called the Raggedy Ann Candy Shop in Ashland, Oregon. And we thought over the years that these murals were, were lost. But the story is that, that when the candy shop closed in Oregon, these murals were set to the family's summer home in Vermont. And for some reason, nobody knows, these were put behind the walls in the basement. And a few years ago, when the new owners of this home were restoring this home. They took the walls down and he here were these murals. In addition, the museum also maintains a store that's stocked with almost every officially licensed Raggedy Ann and Andy product. There are dolls, books, and even food products, all carrying the name of two of this world's most beloved characters, and all created by a man originally from Arcola. I never knew him. He died quite a few years before I was born, but I feel like I know him through his books and his stories and some family history, and I think he was a very loving, very kind um, man. His, his imagination was just in, incredible. 
we have so many people that come in here and say Raggedy Ann is their best friend and every Raggedy Ann has a heart that says I love you so how can you be sad with a silly smiling little raggedy face and a, and a doll that says I love you. <laughs> Find out more about the Johnny Gruel Raggedy Ann and Andy Museum, call 217-268-4908.